Would you, do you believe that Donald Trump lost 2020 fairly or fraudulently? And the second part of that question is, if elected president, would you pardon Donald Trump in the event that he was indicted and found guilty of the many charges that confront him? But Vivek's not going to answer that question here on YouTube. The answer could have too many consequences for us as a platform and a channel. So click the link in the description. Join us over on Rumble to hear Vivek's answer. Over to you now, Vivek. Would, is it, was it fraudulent or was it fair? And would you pardon him in office? The election was not fair because it was stolen by big tech. And it's funny, this is exactly, literally, Russell, it's almost like a concrete poem we just demonstrated it through our actions. We had to switch over to this platform, Rumble, which, by the way, I was a proud early investor in when Rumble was a private company because I believe in this mission. This is a demonstration of everything that's wrong with our culture. And so, yes, you know who stole the election from Donald Trump above all? Big tech did. They suppressed the Hunter Biden laptop story on the eve of an election. There is hard data. I'm driven by data and evidence. There is hard polling data, which demonstrates that that changed the outcome of the election because many people said, independents, they would have changed their vote had they known that the son of the U.S. president was compromised financially by our adversaries in China and also being paid multi-billion dollar bribes from Ukraine, which, as it turns out, they were right to wonder about because we're now paying hundreds of billions of dollars of U.S. taxpayer money to that same nation. So that definitively, I believe, changed the outcome of the almost certainly changed the outcome of the 2020 election. Combine that with Google search algorithm suppression, soft censorship. This is big tech interference. The largest form of election interference in human history was big tech in the 2020 U.S. presidential election, and we still haven't admitted it. And so that's the truth of the matter as it relates to the indictments. And by the way, I don't believe skirting around questions. I'm not a politician. I'm just going to tell you straight what I think. And if people don't like it, then they don't have to vote for me. I will pardon Donald Trump because I believe that these are politicized persecutions through prosecution. I'm in a unique position to do that because Donald Trump if you believe years of case law in this country, can't pardon himself. So I would need to be in that office to get that job done, not just for Trump, but for Ross Ulbricht, for Julian Assange, for Douglas Mackey, for countless peaceful protesters on January 6th. Anytime there's been two standards of justice where somebody was prosecuted because of their political orientation or because of political circumstances, they will be the subject of a presidential pardon. And for me, that's not an exception for Donald Trump. That's just me following my principle that Donald Trump is on that list. He is being prosecuted in, under circumstances that an ordinary person would not have been prosecuted for if it was under a different political vantage point. So hopefully, you know, I can keep going into depth, but I believe in giving you direct answers. Those are my direct answers.